ever think that uh, the things that we always hang on to in life are kind of the simple everyday things that hold us together? I was raised in Iowa, in a very rural part of Iowa, very much like this actually. Very far from our neighbors, quiet, simple life. And I loved it, and it's really part of my bones, but I kind of recognized from a young age that sometimes the simple life is just a little too slow for me. The simple life uh, did teach me to create my own opportunities and to go after the things I wanted. And when those chances came, to grab and to pursue your dreams. So one of the first chances that I had to go after what I wanted ended up being kind of one of those things that everyone in Iowa says don't to, right? And that was to move to New York City. Everyone in Iowa, the whole state, said don't, don't do it. But I did, because I knew from a young age that uh, I knew what I wanted to do. I was lucky in that way. Um, my parents had taken me to see a show when I was about five with Annie on tour. What to me was the biggest discovery of my life and turned to my parents and said, that's what I want to do. Look for me in New York City. I'll be the stranger with a smile. Say hello to me. was that it was also a lesbian love story. So, I just left that for them to discover on their own in the theater. And to this day, we've never talked about that. So. <laughs> but my, uh, my grandparents just recently moved into assisted living, and I went uh, back to visit them just a couple months ago, and one of the nurses in the assisted living facility told me that they play the original cast recording of War Bonds every day with their door wide open. So, we'll take the subway to 